Hey, Baptist Grove, it's Minister Katrina. Our scripture today is from Isaiah 6, 8, and it reads, And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then I said, Here I am, send me. Why this passage? Isaiah has just had a powerful revelation of the holiness of God. He's been transformed by the mercy of God, who used tongs and burning coal from the altar to touch his lips and make him clean of all unrighteousness. In verse 8, Isaiah overhears a holy discussion where God asks the question, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Isaiah's answer was immediate. Here I am. Send me. He didn't have any details. He didn't know where God would send him. He didn't know if anyone else was going with him. All Isaiah knew is that God needed someone to send, and his response was, Lord, I'll go. This passage teaches us that God desires people who won't put parameters or limitations around where he can send them or who he can send them to. God's desire is for people who will respond like Isaiah. So what do we do with this? There are two things that become very important. First, Isaiah heard God speak. It's important as the children of God, we're familiar with God's voice and we can hear when God speaks to us. There are two opportunities for that to happen. First, through spending time in God's word, studying God's word. Second is through prayer. Here at Baptist Grove, we have an opportunity for you to go deeper in the Word of God every Wednesday in Bible study and on Sundays through our worship experience. We also have daily prayer Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Second, Isaiah responded by saying, yes, I'll go. That took action. As we know, we're in the midst of our focus on being sent. Where is God sending you to? Can you say yes? Not only saying yes to God, but also saying yes to the way that God has purposely equipped you to serve Him. There are many ways that we can serve within the doors of Baptist Grove, within the walls of Baptist Grove, and outside of the walls of Baptist Grove. I encourage you all to take the spiritual gift assessment if you haven't, and consider ways that your spiritual gifts can be put to use to support the kingdom work that God has called us to. And we can all say together, I'll go.